So this particular auto ordinance, Thompson, is semi-automatic, but it has been modified with a barrel that has a bore obstruction in the nose of it. And I don't know if we're focused on that, but there is an actual orifice in a friend of this thing. So if you look at this gun, you can't tell that it's been bore obstructed. If you were to plug a live, um, a live mag into this thing, and I'm going to show you here that we're not. These are actually blanks, and we're going to put them in here, and we're going to see if we can make this thing work. But you got to be real careful when you deal with guys in the movie industry because we're, uh, yeah. All right, let's see if it works. Now, did we have enough gas? Okay, go for it. Okay, you see that the water is rippling? Come on up, get close to it. Just because you have blanks in something doesn't mean that you're not moving things. All right, there's stuff coming out of this, so even blank guns are dangerous. All right, um, let's, uh, let's just do the ultimate rip there. Go ahead. All right, I think we got it. That proves that our L drum works. And then it proves that our uh, dummy barrel works. And there's paperwork for this barrel stored in the butt of it. We have an ETF letter from the manufacturer that says it's not a barrel. So this is not an SBR as it's set up. It's merely a blank gun. But man, I'm telling you, if you look at it, you have no way of telling. Man. So just be careful. Remember that rust, grease, and, well, orifice plugs are bore obstructions and proceed on that basis. See that brass laying right there? That came down that far away from Sheldon. That came, that's gotta be every ounce of 60 feet. So I think I know why the bolt got broke, bud.